Model number four, info mediation. Big word for a very simple concept. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a bit of a cold. I stand between you and the information and somebody pays me to do that. Usually the information provider is paying me to do that, um, but sometimes it's the information consumer. Usually it's the information provider though. So I provide a service, for example, I provide advertisements, or excuse me, I'm for rent, and who's going to pay me? The people who are renting the apartments, the people who are renting the houses, the people who are selling things are going to pay me because I can assure them that people are going to come to me. And in fact, a site like rent.com, where they make their money is by aggregating, by bringing together all the listings for an entire area, and by the usefulness of their, of their software, the usefulness of their user interface, the ability for people to find what they're looking for. And if a company like Rent.com can prove to the listeners, <coughs> excuse me, to the people who are um, renting their apartments or selling their house to them, if they can prove to them that they'll get more business by going through Rent.com, then they'll be willing to pay for it, depending on how much more business they get. Interestingly, Rent.com offers this idea, and I'm amazed that they do it, and somehow the listers must be paying for this. If you rent an apartment through Rent.com and you can prove that you rented an apartment and that you found it on Rent.com, they'll give you $100. So not only do um, you not pay as a renter, they pay you to use them. And so um, I'm surprised that they have such a business model. I'm surprised that that could be successful for them. But they're actually giving you money to use them. And in return, um, they're betting that so many more people will use them or that they can pass that charge on to the people who are renting stuff, or who, the people who are um, listing rentals on their site, that they'll still end up making money. I would bet that Rent.com is not making money at this point, that Rent.com is making that same buzz and eyeballs bet that Facebook bet on and is losing money right now and is, is burning up investors' money because in the long run they think they're going to have that billion dollar idea just like Facebook. Okay, um, Monster.com is another example. Monster.com or Craigslist, um, all they all um, are replacing the, the, uh, the ads that used to be in newspapers. And these are another infomediary, these are other infomediary businesses where they, say, where they say, I'm so much better at, at getting all this information together, at aggregating this information and presenting it to you, user, that there's no way that you would go and look for yourself. You wouldn't go to all these different apartments, you wouldn't go to all these different companies and look for jobs. Why should you come to one place? I have it all. I've aggregated it all. And their, their success is on their ability to get all of those. If you go to monster.com and it only has 1% of the jobs, you're not going to go there. But if you go to monster.com and it has 100% of the jobs, you're definitely going to go there. Okay, so that idea of infomediary, which is um, very much alive and well on the web and doing very well. Because as we all know, it's really difficult to go to all the different places and find all the different kinds of information that you might look for. And so it's worth it to you. Even though the consumer, just like for information, the consumer, the user, is not paying for that service, even though they're getting an amazing service, they're getting a tremendous amount of value out of those aggregators, out of those infomediaries, but it's usually the people who are supplying the information to the infomediaries or advertisers that are paying the bills at those companies. And so what I want you to know in all of these cases is that as a user, you're getting a great deal right now. You're getting a deal unheard of in the history of mankind. The amount of value that you're getting out of your computer, out of your browser, by going to all these systems. And not only, some, not only aren't they charging you for it, but in some cases they're paying you to get all this amazing information. That's a good deal, and I would guess that it's not going to last.